Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video. And in this video, I want to show you a scenario why calculate sum is not producing the right output. So this is one of the common scenario which beginner face whenever they are entering or creating a new column by entering this formula. And uh, here I want to show you how you can do it correctly so that you are not spending hours figuring out what is really wrong with the formula. And before I do that, just a quick information that this sheet, which where I am keeping all of my Power BI related tutorial video, right now it is 211, is something present in the description, which you can access very easily and search any of my previously posted videos related to how-to videos or dashboards and jump onto that using the column B. So this Google spreadsheet link is present there. Also, there are a lot of exercise related videos via the website workout wednesday something which you can also access the video link and the actual exercise link the website link over here with that let me go to the power bi and show you the information so here i am in the power bi and if i show you the data the data is quite straightforward if you have been watching my videos then you already know that this is the power bi uh, super sta uh, superstore sales video where we have the information about the superstore who is engaged into selling the furniture technology uh, related product or office supplies related product and let's say we have a scenario so for example sales related information over here and for this sales we want to calculate the total sales for those divisions which is let's say the consumer right so for example, you have a scenario where you want to compare each sales with the total sales of consumer division. If this is, let's say a hypothetical scenario we have, or you are dealing with where you are finding issue, right? So the easiest way is basically what we do is we use the calculate function. So if I create a new column, right? And uh, we come over here. So what we say is consumer sales and because calculate function allows us to have the expression which is sum of sales right and also the filter that means segment equals to consumer so that means it should give us the consumer sales for uh, as a total for all of my cells uh, columns in this table so over here if you see what do we get is not the expected output we get first of all only the consumer sales as if like we have done the if condition if segment equals to consumer then give me the sales so it is not taking an impact of the sum of sales right whereas in general if you write the sum of sales for example if i create a new column and uh, write the sum of sales the expected output is oops where are you going come on give me a new one uh so over here yeah, now it is good so if i say total sales and if i just write simple sum of sales then the expected output is it should give me the total sales right so this is a total sales in each of my cell or in my each of my row for this data set where i can do let's say percentage calculation or whatever any other calculation we want however in this specific scenario, we want to apply a condition, right, which is the consumer uh, as a segment and consumer segment is here, right, you can see consumer, home office, corporate, these are three segment and want to get the data. So if you are also struggling with this issue, then how would you correct it, right? So whole idea is that in this entire column, I want to populate the consumer segment, let's say for any comparison, percentage to total or whatever is the need right so how we can correct it well in this case you need to use something different something different is your sum x function and in this sum x function you need to first provide the table name in my case it is sheet one and in the expression we need to provide an expression which is very simple if segment equals to um, consumer right then sales right so you may be wondering well if this is what it is then i can simply apply the if condition 
and use the sum of sales inside it right and and give me the and it can give me the output well i'll show you that why it will not give you the right output so if i just click over here this is what my consumer sales right now in each of my columns so this is my total sales but this is the sales only for the consumer division which let's say i want to use for calculation with other columns right now coming back to this condition if condition it it may be a scenario for you as well that you are applying the if condition and uh, simply saying if segment is consumer then sum of sales well let's see this so if i click it over here and third third segment if segment sales right and i paste it if segment equals to consumer then sales sum of sales right because it should give me the output well let's see what it gives click ok right so again if you see what it is giving you is two incorrect values first of all it is not producing the values over here in any of these cells right also it is producing the total output that means it is neglecting the if condition because this sum is overriding the context in this case right so so the thing is only for this row it is producing the total output that's how in a simple english you can read it but if you need in each cell or in each row you need only a specific value output in this case um, in this case segment as a consumer then you need to use the sumx function to provide this or total sales is a straightforward is a sum of sales so that is something a tricky situation i wanted to show you as how you can achieve it so i've shown you the three different scenarios and this is the scenario is the expected output what you would really like to uh, get as an in, uh, information or um, calculated column uh, for your data set so that's about it i'll meet you in the next video with a new topic